Hello everyone, welcome to this learning material, video-based learning material for the technology and innovation management course. Uh, we are going to cover, in this episode of the video series, we are going to cover the first chapter, technology and innovation management, key concept, uh, key concepts. And as you know, from your textbook has eight chapters till until the midterm, you are responsible for the first chapters, first four chapters. Uh, technology and innovation management and uh, uh, types of innovation, sources of innovation, process of innovation will be your responsibility. Then you are going to have your midterm and up to, uh, uh, and we are going to add eight more chapter, uh, four more chapters than uh, technology and innovation strategy, intellectual property rights, social and economic dimensions of innovation, uh, technology, entrepreneurship uh, uh, will be your and all of these chapters will be your final uh, exam responsibility. So here in this chapter in the technology management and um, uh, innovation, uh, inno technology and innovation management key concepts, uh, we expect you to uh, explain what technology and innovation management is and uh, its uh, interdisciplinary roots. And then um, you will be able to define technology management, describe the fundamentals of innovation management, and you will be able to describe the organization characteristics required for managing technology and innovation successfully. So uh, let's start uh, with the introduction. As you know, innovation has become uh, one of the hot topic, has become one of the most frequently used uh, uh, words uh, not only in the pop management books but also in academic business literature although uh, making uh, things that you have been doing in better ways of or coming up with novel ideas uh, no solutions to the ongoing problem is almost as old as mankind humankind the concept of innovation and technology management uh, attracted significant interest starting from the second half of the 20th century. And uh, so what is it then? Uh, in innovation in the Oxford Handbook of Innovation, Jan Fagerberg, one of the editors of the book, argues that uh, the tendency to think about new and better ways of doing things and try them out in practice is inherently a human phenomenon. And organizations and uh, their managers believe that uh, believe believe that a brighter future is only only possible by developing and sustaining innovative capabilities. So this introductory chapter will provide the infrastructure uh, for the remainder of the book. And in this chapter, uh, technology management will be defined. Fundamentals of innovation management will be described. And the last but not least, organization characteristics required for managing technology and innovation successfully will be elaborated on. And uh, let's continue for with the interdisciplinary historical roots of the uh, technology and innovation management. So we have the industrial revolution. Industrial revolution, as we call it today, uh, was a result of a series of technological innovations realized throughout the 19th century, which in turn became the primary building block of uh, the bu building block of the progress within the societies for that period. Thus, innovation has not been regarded as the engine of growth. So technological innovations provide wealth uh, for the innovators as well as the country where that has occurred. And no single discipline can deal with all aspects of technology and innovation management. Thus, a cross-disciplinary understanding and cross-interdisciplinary uh, cross understanding and cross-disciplinary collaboration is a must. So although innovation uh, is believed to be the engine of uh, growth uh, for a long period of time, uh, research on the role of innovation uh, in economic and social change uh, particularly in social sciences, has just recently proliferated. Systemic analysis of the science policy and innovation studies uh, revealed that the field in which technology and innovation management uh, related research activities are conducted has matured and the field now has in is including the subfields such as economics of innovation uh, and technology and growth, uh, management of industrial innovation and the resource-based view of the firm, organizations and innovation, systems of innovation, sociological and other contribution, and last, measuring technology and innovation. Uh, uh, when you look at the interdisciplinary historical roots, we see that uh, in the in in the book in the book there is a whole chapter dedicated to this area. Uh, we will, if we look at the uh, economics historical contribution in um, developing the technology and innovation management field, and then we'll delve into contributions of various 
other fields such as sociology, uh, management and organization studies. And lastly, we'll look at the other related fields contribution uh, to the uh, technology and innovation management field, which will underline the interdisciplinarity of the uh, of the area itself. So this section in the book uh, for the course is a short introduction. So talking about all the contributors and their contributions will be an endless effort. So this is a short summary. And this video is even the shorter version of that summary. And so here continue the concept of technology management. Here we are going to highlight the, uh, several questions. First, we start with what is technology? What is technology management? And uh, technology management is not equal to innovation management and how does it work the process itself and what are the tools used for uh, technology management so technology there are many definitions but in one definition it's the combination of skills uh, knowledge abilities materials machines computers tools and other equipment that people use to convert or change a raw materials or raw materials into valuable goods and services. When you look at the International Encyclopedia of Social Sciences, you see a definition of technology, which is uh, in a broad meaning is the practical uh, arts. These arts range from hunting, fishing, gathering, agriculture, animal husbandry, and mining through manufacturing, construction, transportation, provision of foods, uh, power heat, etc., to means of communication, medicine, and military technology. Technologies are bodies of skills, uh, knowledge, and procedures for making, using, and doing useful things. They are techniques, means for accomplishing uh, recognized purposes. So, almost everything from changing inputs into uh, outputs is called technology. So, technology management, on the other hand, is defined as a process. Uh, is defined as a process which includes planning, directing, controlling, and coordinating the development and implementation of technological capabilities to shape and accomplish the strategic and operational objectives of an organization. When we compare technology management with innovation, we should first say that they are not the same thing. Okay, uh, they are they are not the same thing. Innovation management transforms an idea into an applicable new or improved product, process, or an idea. But innovation is not about technology per se. Technology management is a specific field related to all decisions needed to develop technology within the organization. The initial focus of the field was R&D, research and development activities within the organization, then gained a broader perspective now called strategic uh, technology management. Uh, the nonlinear technology management uh, that how, how the process works, the next question was the, the nonlinear technology management process based on dynamic capabilities theory includes acquisition, exploitation, identification, learning, protection, selection, support and so se supported by project management, knowledge management and innovation management. And what are the tools that we use for technology management? There are various tools that can be used for technology management. Some of the widely used tools are uh, patent management, portfolio management, road mapping, S curve, state, uh, stage gate, and value analysis. So let's now turn our attention to innovation management and what is the fundamentals of innovation management. First of all, being the engine of economic growth and competitive advantage, it's not surprising to talk about the innovation imperative. And the etymological root of the term innovation comes from the Latin in and novare which means to make something new. And according to another definition, innovation is a, a, a pra practical implementation of an idea into a new device or a process. In another definition, we uh, uh, there are approaches from the profit-making potential. When we approach the innovation uh, from a profit-making potential, and uh, we can define it as the use of new technologies and market knowledge to offer a new product, or a service that customers will want. Innovation is not invention. Uh, innovation is the first cousin of invention, but uh, it's not that these two terms are not equal uh, and they shouldn't be used interchangeably. According to Oxford Learners Dictionary, to invent is to produce or design something that has not existed before. And uh, the invention is a thing or an idea that has been invented. Invention is the first occurrence of an idea, whereas innovation can be regarded as the first attempt to put that idea into practice. So here you see uh, the innovation management. Innovation is the management of all activities 
uh, involved in idea generation, technology development, manufacturing, marketing of a new or improved product or manufacturing process or equipment. As you can see in this uh, in the slide, uh, a, a figure from your chapter, innovation can be uh, uh, defined as a theoretical conception plus technical invention plus commercial exploitation or innovation can also be said that creativity plus exploitation. Uh, let's continue the fundamentals of innovation again. From the perspectives of one whole, innovation can carry different meanings, and these meanings are highlighted in a table concerning the relevant perspective. You can read the, these, t these um, uh, perspectives and their definition from your textbook uh, for uh, uh, if, if you want to gain more information about what innovation can mean. And the remainder of the chapters, we talk about innovation process, types of innovation, models of innovation, concepts related to innovation management will be also uh, elaborated throughout the, the, the this section of the chapter. And last but not the least, the chapters will end with the characteristics, organization characteristics required for successful management of technology and innovation. So there is no secret um, magically formula that makes an organization innovative. Organizations need to design their uh, structure, cultivate values and protect intellectual properties for successfully managing technology and innovation. Uh, overcoming organization inertia is not an easy task. Success depends on both people and the organization. So managerial leadership should construct the link between employees, expectations and organization requirements. Organizations having weak absorptive capacity can be afflicted by competence destroying technological changes and technology and innovation management is a strategic issue we will see in the upcoming chapters and besides external threats organizations should also foster sufficient freedom for employees to experiment with new solutions and establish new ties within the organization structures and create external linkages all right so that's the end of chapter one you can access more learning material from another university's learning management system called a campus don't forget to read the chapters from your textbook you will be responsible from the textbook content of the textbook and I wish you good luck with your studies. <laughs>